I'm here with Everett with Neenan Corporation. My name is Eric Murray, Public Relations Director of Middle Park Medical Center Crumling and right here in Granby. Everett, you and I started doing tours back in October of 2010, almost a year ago. Right. On this, when we were breaking right. ground. Right. Uh, we've certainly come a long way. We're getting close. <laughs> we're getting close. We should uh, pretty well be done by the 1st of November and turn it over to you guys to be your fully operational hospital whenever you open it in January. All so right. you can start doing fit up. Well, today's uh, Thursday, October 13th. So we're about a year from when we started these uh, video tours. And so uh, can you show us around one last time, Everett? Yep. For all your loyal YouTube we're watchers. We're standing in the Galleria, which is the mess, back from the main entry. So uh, if you been around, Eric, you can see the Galleria, clear open space, uh, easily accessed. The carpet that comes out into the tile basically is marking areas of reception where patients or clients will walk in and uh, get into the different areas of the building. To our left is the clinic. To our right is uh, the OR uh, pack view area and well, what do you mean pack you for those who don't pack understand? You. <laughs> pack you is patient. Uh, that's where you would basically come in and be uh, ready for surgery and where recovery takes place. Okay. It's pack you area. So to the right, we're talking physical therapy, right. especially physicians, family practice. Yes. And uh, to the left from us now, since we switched, what direction is that? Let's use directions instead of left, right. I'm not going to tell you the oh, direction. Okay, good. All right. All right. Well, that side over there is going to be the <laughs> OR and the radiology laboratory and right. ER. Right. And uh, right as you walk in the front door, now that we're looking, let's turn it that way. Uh, that's where you would enter to the lab and imaging area which will be equipped with a MAMO, uh, ultrasound, stress test, and x-ray at this time. And there is the ability to expand to put a MRI in the facility. And we build it so it is expandable. Great, um, so we can have one outside yes, on the pad. And then there'll be a, there is a facility to operate uh, one for the exterior of the building. And but we it, also have space to build on the inside if we need. Yeah. If the demand dictates. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And let's walk into the physical therapy area. We'll start off with that area. And this is kind of the physical therapy waiting area with the tech room here. And there'll be glass windows here, I'd imagine. Yeah, glass sliding windows. I've got the frames locked, but yeah, glass gets here. So they can service the plan and check them in. And there's be a couple chairs for patients. Or whatever you want to call it. This area has its own restroom. There is a, a physical workout area with cardio down on that end. And then there's three private therapy rooms where they can give therapy. Uh, Physical, occupational, speech. Yes. Whatever kind of therapy they do, physical therapy. Close the door so you can see what the privacy area. Are those soundproof in any way? No, not necessarily. Not necessarily, the but- rooms, uh, The rooms are soundproof. The doors will allow some sound transfer. There's just really no way to you can't totally seal it. Seal it off. And then back here is a tech work area where they can do uh, different whatever techs do. Okay. <laughs> now, whatever a physical therapy tech. I see the curtain yeah. up here, this rod that's situation. The, that's an area so you can close off basically the cardio area from the regular physical therapy area. 
And by cardio, you mean our culminary, or uh, cardio and pulmonary rehabilitation? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Yeah. I see we have mirrors here. What will will this be a handrail? There's, there's an exercise rail there, so they can do their exercises. Great. Reach out for a little support there, and sort of ballerina style, right? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want. Uh, then us we'll walk through this door, which is attaches to the clinic. We'll go back out into the clinic reception area. This is the clinic reception area. There is a patient check-in. And then there will be seating on both sides of this wall. So there's plenty of overflow seating for patients. If you do get a heavy load. Like in flu season. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then once you're checked in, they'll call you in, bring you in through here. This is your checkout area, so they have to to get out of here. They have to go by checkout. Mm -hmm. uh, nurses work area. Vital signs will happen here. The scale and height gauge will be in this area. Oh, I didn't know that. And then there is exam rooms five on this side and they are all identical no this one doesn't turn on they're all identical what's the purpose for these exam rooms being identical ever that way the physician doesn't have to think or the provider even the nurse pa whoever they don't have to it's one less thing that they have to be stressed about they should go be able to go to the millwork Whatever kind of supplies are kept in here, they should be in the same place in every room. See how that can grow. So it's, see. it is automatic. automatic. Okay. Just that quick. That makes sense. Then if you, once you check in, get done with your vitals, if you need to give any kind of urine samples or anything, there's a bathroom right here, an area where they'll work in uh, specimen pass through right next to the sink which goes into the dirty work area for the nurse area. And then, like I said, there's five treatment or exam rooms. Then there is a treatment room in each one of the wings. And basically it's for minor treatments, like hang nails. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Whatever minor treatment Fish is. Fish hooks maybe. <laughs> yeah, fish hooks. <laughs> Maybe ski binding, wrap around. <laughs> then down the hall, quickly you're gonna, you've got an area dictation, nurse work area, uh, staff work area. Then there's areas back here for linen storage, supply storage. There's another area here where the uh, x-ray viewing Oh. will happen right here in the cabinet. Then we have a staff provider work area. There's enough room for at least four staff members to drop in. And it looks like you let them have some vitamin D sunlight. Oh yeah. With the window there. We have views. That's one thing we do have. <laughs> and then as you go around this corner, we come back into the other hallway, which is pretty much identical. It has only has three exam rooms. There is a staff work area here uh, with a coat closet and lockers for staff who will be working in the clinic. Uh, and as I said, the hallway is identical. And then you would, if you're going out, you'd end up the same thing. This is a duplication of the other side, just it's the opposite hand. Uh, down this hallway. You want to go? Let's go back here first. Okay. Uh, in here is clean and dirty work. There'll be bed dispensing. Uh, they'll be able to do some of the work with uh, 
processing the urine samples and that kind of stuff. And there'll be that kind of work going on with the nursing area. There is two different areas, so you can keep you know, clean and dirty separated. There's three exam, specialty exam rooms down this hallway, which are uh, like for whenever you have special physicians here, different kinds of eating. Such as our orthopedics, cardio, urology, a number have. of different specialty <laughs> docs coming. Uh -huh. This yeah. is where they'll practice. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this room has a janitor's closet in it for the housekeeping of this area. Hmm. That janitor's closet is for this area. And then through this door, we walk into the main employee entrance area. Employee entrance will be up to the end of this hallway. There's a staff rec, soil, linen hole. And there's a parking lot over there, and that's towards right. the south, right? Yes. Uh, I'm guessing directions here, that's south. Because Winter Park and Fraser. <laughs> That's uh, the general consensus. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Uh, right here is your staff lounge. Basically, this is a full area for kitchen. There will be refrigerator, range, uh, dishwasher, microwave in here. So all the staff will have a place to come and take, have lunch. There is a pass through going into the main conference room. So if you have like a lunch meeting or a training session and you want to feed or have break, there's the ability to pass food right through. Somebody can come in here, the doors will be closed, they can process it, get everything ready and then pass it through. Okay. Uh, down at the end of the hall is the IT workroom and the telephone storage. Again, there is lockers for people coming in, coat closet, that kind of stuff. On through this door is the main entry vestibule for employees. It goes, as Eric said earlier, goes to the outside. Also your shipping and receiving is in here. Uh, this will be your shipping and receiving area. Looks like one of the most spacious rooms in the whole place, right there, by necessity. So you get a lot of stuff. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and as you're coming in, the time clock will actually be right underneath that sign for clinic, so staff will be able to come in. If they're not working in the clinic, they can put their stuff here. If they're working in the clinic, they can keep their stuff close to them. Hmm. Uh, then there's this doorway will take you into the administration wing, which includes two small meeting rooms, small conference rooms, whatever you want to call them. There is a training room here that has the capabilities of a TV, training monitor, whatever, big screen up there. Um, and again, another private meeting room. Then there's work area here, which this is an open office area. There will be eight workstations in it for drop-in. So people will be able to come. No assigned offices. All this, all the office area is right here. So if somebody comes over and needs to work, there will be a drop-in station for them. Also included in this is an area where copy machines, faxes, all that kind of equipment will go with the uh, supply storage for that operation. All right, so that concludes the south side tour. <laughs> except for the conference room. Ah, except for the conference room. One <laughs> last spot here. The conference room is in use on. <laughs> it says training room, but it's actually the conference room. It's we need to change those signs size up. Or 
the figure that it's rooms big enough for about 20 people. Okay. There's a, uh, again, monitor location on the wall for training or for holding conferences or whatever. So. Great. Looks fantastic, Everett.